What's the dumbest thing you've ever heard someone say? My friend once told me he wasn't too concerned about using birth control because everyone knows the girl can only get pregnant if they both come at the same time. His GF was pregnant 3 months later. A girl I knew said and believed that if you left a cucumber outside of the fridge, it would melt as it was made out of mostly water. Girl also thought that NASA and astronauts were fictional jobs. I remarked that it's odd that we associate rabbits with eggs for Easter. I jokingly said we should make it an Easter platypus because, unlike rabbits, they lay eggs. Then someone overheard this and said wait, no, rabbits do lay eggs. This turned into a two minute argument over whether or not rabbits lay eggs. And then when she finally accepted that she was wrong, she was so irritated that she asked all of her co-workers if they thought the same as her. To the best of my knowledge she's the only one. I work at a college with a good nursing program. Heard a girl tell her classmate, I don't know why they make us memorize all this shit about different drugs. I mean, it's not like we are going to kill anyone if we give them the wrong medication. And her friend agreed. Be scared. It's been proven that if you dream about falling and hit the ground in your dream you will die in your sleep. Yeah? If someone dies in their sleep, how do you know what they were dreaming? Worked at a hotel. Guest asked why there was no 4th of July parade or any fireworks in town. We were in Australia. A few years ago, leading up to the great American eclipse, a co-worker overheard us discussing it and said, you all don't actually believe in that shit do you? I figured he misunderstood whatever we were talking about and thought we were talking about mysticism or something regarding the eclipse but no, he followed up with don't you know, if the moon went into the sun it would melt, that's why the eclipse can't be real. I genuinely felt like humanity should probably start over from scratch after that. My sister panicked whilst on a flight and asked if she could open a window as she was feeling really hot. The guy in the seats across from her lost it. It made his day. That chickens have no brains. Not that they are stupid. That a chicken literally does not have a brain. When I was like 13, I told my friend that there was such a thing as a liger. They had successfully mated a lion and a tiger. His response, you idiot, tigers are female lions. We took the argument to his mother to settle it. She took his side. A few years ago I got a job offer in Japan and decided to take it. Some friends from my then office threw me a farewell party. The girlfriend of one of my co-workers came along and told me that she'd always wanted to go to Japan and that her number one thing to do there would be to take a camel ride. My co-worker and I just looked at her to see if she'd explain more. Maybe there was a camel cafe she'd heard about or something. But no, she just honestly thought camels were a common mode of transportation in Japan. You have vertigo? Isn't vertigo that place where the planes get lost? At a sushi place in Dallas, a large middle-aged man at another table shouted, God damn those Japs don't fuck around with their guacamole. Friend shared that he thought women were like chickens. One day a month we would sit on a toilet all day and lay an egg. The moon is much better than the sun because it's up at night illuminating while the sun is up during the day when it's already bright. Someone once said, but I don't want to put the bag of aquatic snails inside the fish tank. They might drown. That someone was me. Past me is dumb co-worker at my last job during lunch. Him, the moon landings obviously didn't happen. Me, that's awkward. I was bouncing lasers off the mirrors we left there at university. Physics graduate. Him after pausing. There's loads of ways they could have got there. Aliens could have plonked them down. Man literally believes in aliens, but not the moon landings, and is a manager at a large company. I worked retail as a summer job about 17 years ago. I was putting out coffee cups with a co-worker. Why don't they make left-handed coffee cups? I quietly turned one of the mugs 180 degrees without saying anything. Last I heard she was the assistant manager of that department. 
watching Star Wars in high school with some girl and she says, when did this happen? I said it was made in the 70s, confused on what she meant. She said no, the space war, when did we have a space war? Me and my buddy almost died laughing. Someone tried to convince me that snakes don't have bones. I showed him some pictures of snake skeletons and he said, yeah they have ribs, not bones. Can't we just exterminate all bacteria and viruses so we can't get sick anymore? Literally heard someone say this in microbiology class. Microbiology class. A private once told me that if he got out of the military, he wouldn't go to college because his dad would hire him on as a janitor at the hospital he worked at and as long as he worked hard, he would get promoted to be a doctor one day. An ex of mine was given a prescription of meds that had to be taken with food because it's hard on the stomach. A few days in, he was complaining about the taste of the meds and how it ruined his food. That's when I realized he thought he had to put it in the food and eat it. We were both mid-twenties at the time. I didn't think I had to supervise his med intake. The person in front of me at Burger King. Could you stick these fries back in the fryer to rinse off the salt? I'm trying to watch my calories. A trustworthy friend of mine once told me that a idiot co-worker thought that all meat in the supermarket was not from animals because of the term factory farms. He honestly believed that all sold meat was manufactured in a factory. He was 40 ish and something high up in the military. Was at a movie theater watching The Martian with some friends. One of them turns to me and 100% honestly asks, did they film this on Mars? No, GR. They most definitely did not. We were 18, on vacation, walking home after the first night there, she was staring at the moon for a bit, and then she stops walking, and asks her friend, is this the same moon we see back at home? A part of me died that night. I worked at a restaurant for a while, and I once had a vegan order a parmesan tilapia. I told her that the parmesan tilapia wasn't a vegan dish. She asked why, and I said, tilapia is a fish, parmesan is cheese, and therefore an animal product. She looks me dead in the face, scoffs, and turns to the people at her table and says, our server doesn't know anything. Then looks back at me, tilapia is a fruit, I've been to a tilapia orchard, parmesan, since you don't know, is made from grinding eggplant root. How did you even get a job in a restaurant? I stared at her for a solid 10 seconds trying to figure out if she was messing with me. She demanded the manager come speak to her. She wasn't joking. Freshman year of high school. In some class we were talking about some historical figure who committed suicide in a bathtub. This girl raised her hand and asked, if you slit your wrists in a bathtub, would you bleed to death? And the teacher is confused at the question and was just like yeah, you would. And the girl is like but all the blood would still be in the bathtub with you. My teacher didn't know what to say, she just sort of said, oh, honey. Former 911 dispatcher here as well. Had a lady repeatedly call me on Thanksgiving wanting instructions on how to cook a turkey and everything. When I tried to explain that 911 was for emergencies she informed me it was an emergency because she had family coming over and had promised them a turkey dinner. If Japanese people suffer so much from tsunamis, why don't they hide behind the Great Wall of China? 8th grade geography class. Thanks for watching the video. For more content like this, please subscribe, like, and share the video and push the notification button.